Today, I have some pretty crazy things to show you. My plant quarantine tank is overrun with hitchhikers. As I looked closer, I could see even more things that were weird and out of the ordinary. I realized it was time to finally figure out just what was going on in this aquarium. First of all, there were these new pond snails. I even noticed that there were eggs on some of the Cerberwasser tank. I could see that there were mosquito larvae all over. They were all different sizes, from little tiny ones floating at the surface to large ones that were ready to become flying, blood-sucking insects. I also started seeing these long green things all over the glass. They were definitely alive and moving. Worms, maybe. They were everywhere. On top of that, there were these crazy things growing all over the driftwood. Stick around, my fish-keeping friends, while we take a closer look at all of this stuff. So just to recap guys, we have the snails that I have never seen before, we have tons of blood sucking mosquito larvae, these crazy green worm things all over the glass, and there's this weird stuff growing on the drift one. It was time to take each one of them and put them under the microscope to get a closer look. No, I'm not going to put a snail under the microscope, sorry, but I will put some of the eggs that I found on the subwasser tang on a slide. I used a little tank water to hydrate the slide, a sterile blade to remove the eggs from the subwasser tang, and I just added another drop or two of water to hydrate the eggs before I put it on the microscope. This is so cool, you can see the embryos spinning around freely in their shells. It is amazing to me to see the first steps of a new living creature. Next, of course, we have my best friend, the mosquito larvae. I have to get these guys out of the aquarium before they get to me, for sure. Ah, I gotcha. He was trying to get away. Let's look at this guy at 10x. Oh, wow. Creepy. Look at his face, all the hairs. Those microscopic blood vessels running through the anal gills. That stuff is so cool. Now it was time to figure out just exactly what this little tiny, little green worm-like thing was all over the glass. But first I had to catch one. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> now let's check out this worm under the microscope and just find out exactly what kind of worm it really is. Uh, yeah, this guy's just plain ugly. This looks like either a midge fly larvae or maybe some kind of tubiflex worm. I'm not sure. If you know, post it in the comments below. Last but not least was this crazy stuff growing on the driftwood. It looked like it could be a parasite or a fungus. So I shaved some of it off with a fresh blade, trying not to damage it too much. I figured it'd be cool to see what it looks like under the microscope. Now this was cool. It is a fungus. It's microscopic mushrooms growing in my aquarium. And look at this. We have Vorticella living symbiotically at the base of the mushrooms. So with everything going on in this aquarium, I had to do something. I had to come up with a plan to get this under control. But I prefer to plan without chemicals. Uh, I had a plan, my fish keeping friends. I would call on my trusty local wild guppies. These guys are hardy and always hungry. Now I just had to catch a group of them. I chose to take my top three trios as the candidates for this job. I had faith they might be able to help me resolve this situation. Let's watch to see what happens. Yes, they are starting to eat the mosquito larvae. This is awesome. It looks like she got a big one there. I 
I was going to have to give them some time to really clean house. So I waited until the next morning. When the lights came on, I was ready with the camera. The mosquito larvae were gone. There was no one to be found. The worms were all gone too. It worked you guys. The tank was clean of all the hitchhikers. They even ate all of the mushrooms. Sometimes nature solves your problems for you. I am so happy to be able to clean up this mess in the aquarium. These are some pretty sweet wild guppies as well. I look forward to sharing more of them with you in the future. I well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to this content, you like it and you want to see more of it, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all notifications. And remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.